Dang it. What's up, MSFers? There we go. Now we got things working right. Today is the first of my seven streams of Christmas. I think it's seven streams out from Christmas because I don't do Wednesdays anymore. Uh, so we are going to have a guest uh, interview on today. It's Dan Monguli from The Monguli Show. He's going to come join us and tell us all about him so you guys can get to know Monguli. I think he makes absolutely amazing event videos. He has a lot of production value into his stuff. And uh, I'm excited for you guys to get to know him. Uh, all week long until Christmas, we will be having a lot of these interviews. I've got some uh, some really good ones this year. I'm, I'm really pretty excited. Uh, I'm not going to announce who's going to be on or when this time around. And that has nothing to do with uh, scheduling errors or not being prepared for stream today. That is entirely what I decided to do just now. And uh, so... Is my music drowning it all out? Oh, here. How's that? Is that better? Uh, yeah, so it is seven days of streams until Christmas. Excellent. I, I'm glad I got it right. So we have some really good interviews that are going to be coming up over the next couple of streams. Music down another 5%. Wow. When I reset, it must have screwed everything up. I'm way low for normal. There's another 5%, Dolem. Okay. Anyways, so we've got some great stuff ahead, and every day I'll be giving away stuff. Today, I'm going to be giving away a hat and a mug. Your choice, whoever wins it. I've got uh, my seven mugs, or the MSF -er mug, or your choice of uh, whatever color hat you want. Whoever wins the drawing at the end will, will get to pick and they'll get a mug and a hat of their choosing and I'll send it directly to them. And uh, normally I give away some like comic book paraphernalia and toys and stuff and we will be doing that. But today I decided to go with some of my merch and that has nothing to do with because I couldn't get out to the comic book store and get that stuff ahead of time. <laughs> I'm trying guys I've got a family and another job and things to do so it's hard for me but I'm doing the best I can so uh, so yeah that's what's in store for the seven streams of Christmas this year as much as that I'm, I'm willing to tell you but stay tuned because uh, every every stream I've got something planned and I think it's going to be a great time to do it so for today however uh, while we wait for Monguli to contact me, because he's uh, going to fetch a, he's going to go fetch a, uh, a green screen so we can do this a little bit uh, differently. However, um, I do have something that I get to show you guys, but I can't show you until three o'clock when the embargo lifts. We have the photograph for the voting on the next characters, the pool poll as I'm calling it. I've got the artwork for that, but I can't show you that for another hour and 45 minutes, uh, three o'clock central time, and we'll get to do that. So if you guys remind me, I will put that up there. <laughs> Scopely leaked something on accident. That's great. Sorry, got distracted there. All right, so uh, I got I have war to do, and you know you guys know I'm not I'm not super excited about war right now. It always feels like a chore to do it, but we'll run in there and, and get on to it. Come to stream, get mugged. That's it. Yep. Why do I look like a boy? <laughs> Everybody gives me shit when I shave my beard. Cause I was feeling old, Duchess. I was feeling old, and so I went ahead and shaved. That always makes me feel younger. Ooh, a Quicksilver version. Is Quicksilver going to destroy my... My... Um, I want to see if this works. We're going to test it out, see if this works. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to give it a try. Because they don't have a, a tank in a corner or anything. I wasn't joking yesterday. I thought you were gnomes for a second. Seriously? <laughs> Yeah, my, my, my wife likes me with a beard. 
She doesn't like me clean shaven. She just doesn't like it when I let the beard get too out of control. She doesn't like me Grizzly Adams style. She just likes a short beard. And you know, it's all about keeping the woman happy, you know? Okay, so we're gonna start here. I don't think that flips anything on him because he's not city. He's global, if I remember right. We're gonna see how this goes, because it's not gonna flip anything on Quicksilver. And I think Quicksilver is just gonna run rampant on my team and destroy everybody. Need the flavor saver. I can't do anything to, I can't ability block him because he's got that thing on. I can't ability block her, however, she kind of makes things annoying. Keep a woman happy, how do you do that? You should know Married With Toys. Okay, still can't do anything about Quicksilver right now. I don't know what's going on there. How am I gonna deal with that? What's he got? Is he blind still? He does not have blind? Well, let's see if we can't stun him. Fingers crossed, here we go! Nope, didn't think that was gonna work. Uh-oh, and here goes my team. Watch Quicksilver just 1v5 me. That's right, kill him! That guy sucks, I can't even remember his name, he sucks so bad. Uh, he's got a charge, so he can't die just yet. We can do this, though. Boink. I don't think I'm gonna kill that Quicksilver. I think that Quicksilver is legitimately just going to run crazy on me. Oh my goodness, I can't seem to get rid of that, can I? Here, let's do that. Doink, there we go, that got him. Hey Ron, I have the green screen up and ready to go, but I forgot how to get Chrome Key, how to Chrome Key it out. Yeah, I do it on my end. Mongoli, don't worry. I take care of that on my end. And it's, it's gonna be a real, it's gonna be a real chill interview. I'll record it live, but I'll edit it down in post. That way I can make myself look better and take everything you say out of context. I think it'll be great. No, I'm kidding, of course. All right, I don't even know what to do about Quicksilver. We're gonna throw it on auto and watch how bad he just annihilates my team. Oh man, could you pick a different target maybe? Jeez. Uh-oh. And there's, there's nothing for me to double tap onto, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, I got the full heal, that's good. Come on, let me take a turn, please. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those Quicksilvers, they're pesky, aren't they? You'll be good in like two minutes. Uh, okay, um, I'll just keep doing some war attacks then. And um, let me know and I will. Okay, so it looks like there is a... Uh, I'm being told that you guys know about a level cap 100 increase coming. Uh, coming from Amazon. Amazon apparently spilled the beans on a level cap 100 increase. What was that all about? I, this is news to me. I didn't hear about it. Apparently that happened like seven hours ago. I've been at work all morning. Yes, it was in the blog notes. It's in my video at 4 p.m. 2.3 will have 110 enemies. Wow, where'd all this information come from? I probably should have looked at YouTube before I went live just so I know what's going on in Marvel Strike Force. I was too busy worrying about myself. I'll go clean up my own mess here. Um, I don't know. Should I just take in? You think this could handle it? 1.3 million handle a 140 Quicksilver? I hope so. No wonder they had a gold spending event. Gee, yeah, like like no one saw that one coming, right? Like every single person who talked about the gold spending event said, be ready for a level cap increase coming soon. Like that's just how it goes. They deplete your stores and then they go for it. All right, Mongoolie's ready. We're gonna get him in here. All right, uh, that was that was Dan V Mongoolie. I don't know what to call him now. <laughs> Mr. Mongooly, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go into my voice channel and we are going to do Crucible. 
I've got an ugly one coming up. Oh, let's play some music too. Let's get the music going. Um, you guys said that 40% was too loud now for some reason, so we're gonna drop it down to 20%. And then Doolum's gonna come in here and probably try and curse over the top of that. Uh, that's funny, he's like, he's like, I hope I'm not allowed to curse, and I'm sitting there thinking, have you not heard Doolum come on the stream? Chris? <laughs> Okay, let's find the voice channel. Where is it? Oh There he is. He's already in there. Hi, Dylan. I heard we can't curse so fuck 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 <laughs> Yeah <laughs> All right, so um, uh, Thank you Chad. I'm sorry. I didn't get to read too many questions I did see you guys didn't like me making such solid eye content with a camera yeah, I thought you were. I thought I, it was a little, a little creepy. Well, it's gonna look different when I edit it um, no, yeah, because yeah, the, sure. I'll switch camera angles. I won't get to, I won't get to actually cut anything out of the first half because I had music playing. I'll have right. to overlay it with my own music for the second half, but then I can actually break out and and edit things down a little bit more. All right, so uh, let's go over what I've got on defense first. Secret defenders noir. I put in my. Oh, I believe this is actually Sinister Six in here right now. I took them out because I want to use them once and get the points. But my first run, it has the Superior Six team in here. Um, I've since replaced it with this. Um, so I have Darkhold that I can use on offense for this matchup. And then Black Order with uh, Quicksilver. We got Infinity Watch. We have a straight five piece unlimited and we have Gamma in room six. <clears throat> Because we're only using the Superior Six one time in Crucible, right? They didn't change that on us again? No, they didn't change it. Okay. What's up, Mongoli? Hey. No, no. Oh, not too much. Uh, for the stuff, just I know you swear on Twitch. I wasn't sure because you're putting this on YouTube if you wanted to not have swears. That's where I was like, uh, uh, I think that was after the I, I recorder now burning. We were already after the recording anyway, so it didn't. No, matter, with but. with YouTube, I just try and keep the bad language out of the first uh, thirty seconds or so. Yeah. yeah. And okay. then. And then just uh, roll with it, That's however it is. Usually fine. Yeah, nice. and then and then when I upload my like most of my stuff, I can do does not have cursing in it except the stream recycles. I put like I click like the lowest level of cursing or like abbreviated curse words located in the last ten minutes of the video or something, uh, which is total BS Sorry. because there's there's hardcore <laughs> cursing and all sorts of stuff. I'm Sorry. supposed to check a lot of boxes, but <laughs> so far they haven't like tagged me for it, so that's good. My bad okay. run. <laughs> All right, so in this one, I've got a super scroll in here. Wah, mm -hmm. wah, wah. And then I've got a Pegasus team. So I think I'm going to go Eternals and Speed to try and do the Pegasus team. Mm -hmm. I could mirror the team here in three. This is the ability energy cost two less. I don't know how that's going to change it up if I want to do that or not. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, this doesn't really matter. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, Unlimited. I can use new warriors against unlimited, and then I can do a doom something attack against this. That's been working really well against these gamma teams. So I think I'll do that, like doom and red guardian with uh, some other stuff, you know, Nova or, or something. But my question for the day is how do I handle the SD super scroll? Do I want to do the tech sack and then come in with Masters of Evil, APOC. Yep. Something? That's yep. what we're doing? Yep. Okay. Tech Sack, Emily, APOC. Uh, why did I not save the Tech Sack team? <clears throat> tech Sack sounds like a disgusting, like, nerd porn <laughs> maneuver, doesn't it? Right? I thought you were going to say STI. <laughs> What's STI? Yeah. Uh, sexually transmitted. Uh, oh, I've got a case of the tech sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does kind of sound like that a little bit. A little bit. Oh. oh, man. Are they actually going to give Carnage and Venom some love? Well, Eros, if we continue to pester them after that sneak peek of the blog, I bet they will. They noticed the reaction to that blog. Mm -hmm. And so if we continue to pour it on, especially like on Reddit or something like that, let them know what we want to see. I bet I bet they're going to change it up a little bit. 
Dude, all you have to do is make Venom special hit like primary and adjacent targets and it would be so much better than single target. Same thing with his basic. His ult shouldn't have to change. Carnage's special should be outside of raise. It shouldn't remove uh, remove negative effects too. And, so, and his basic is fine. So I would like to see the Carnage special, how it doesn't remove the negative effects in raids. I'd like to see that everywhere. That's what I want. Imagine Run7 listening to me while I'm in his voice chat, having a conversation to him when I just fucking said that. And then you said the exact same thing because you were busy looking for characters. <laughs> That's exactly what happened right there. That's exactly what happened right there. I said word for word the same thing. I'm like, man, you know what would be great? Carnage is special, not removing the debuffs in every mode except for just raids. I don't that intentionally just... ignore you. I, like, <laughs> I made the joke that I can't breathe and, uh, and, and what is it? I, I can't breathe and look at the same time while I'm trying to do a uh, a crucible attack or something. And I literally close my eyes and take a deep breath before I go into uh, an attack. What's the third mm -hmm. one? I need somebody right here who... Drax. Drax. Never mod anyone who asks to be modded. That's the thing, Archangel. You gotta understand that. When somebody asks to be modded, you don't want them to be a mod. The best mods don't want the job. Yeah, it's... I just came in one day and I went, why do I have this sword next to my name? What is, what? I'm a mod? I don't want this. Yeah. Get it off of me. Yeah, it's like the joke I make about president. Like anybody who's smart enough to be president is smart enough to know that that job sucks and they don't want it. Mm -hmm. Only stream where I wasn't given VIP immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm lazy. It's because I'm lazy, Archangel, not any other Dude. reason. It's because he doesn't know how to give you that VIP. Too, that too. <laughs> he wouldn't even know how to. Like, I checked my calendar and I was like, oh, today's the first day of my seven streams of Christmas. I don't have any comic books to give away. I don't have any figurines to give away. I don't have my questions ready for Mongoli. I don't have my scenes or anything. I asked my boss, I'm like, hey, do you think I could take off an hour early from work today? Because it's really slow. And he's, he's like, why do you want to do that? You could be playing video games with your friends. I was like, Sort of. He's like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I know this because Tyler knows this. That's right. Yeah. Fight Club. It's a great movie. I, I love it when people tell me that they're into movies because I'm I'm huge into movies. Taco Shooter told me about that, like, follow you to the end of the world one, that new Julia Roberts one on Netflix. And it, it, I was in his uh, like I was in chat listening and he started talking about that. And I'm like, I like I ended his chat and, and went and watched the movie right then and there because I wanted to go to sleep. And it was like it was like a happy hour or something. And we were up pretty late. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll just fall asleep to watching that movie. Ended up staying until two in the morning and finished the entire movie because it was so good. And then I felt bad because I was like, I could have stayed in his stream for another 20, 30 minutes at least. But yeah, that was leave the world behind. Is that it? OK, thank you. It. I thought it was good. Just note that the ending the ending kind of sucks, but if you know that the ending sucks, you can enjoy it for what it is. And somebody, like, I think it was Giga told me the ending sucks. Somebody told me the ending sucks. And so I went into it knowing that. And so when the ending came around, I was like, oh, you got me there. All right. And I didn't spike my phone. Hey, Archangel, since you're here, can we have a lose button in Cosmic Crucible or just every game mode so we don't have to sit here for five minutes listening to Run 7's voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why everyone wants the lose button. <laughs> but literally, like, I know it's a niche, it's a niche question, but can't you just, like, flip a switch and put it in all game modes like you did for the raids? Like, retreat and lose? <clears throat> yeah, I, th I think I, I, I think that's. I know been... it's not as easy as a as a switch flipped, but I think it's on their on their to do list. I think so. Okay. As Saki says that the release notes are back, so that's cool. After Crucible, we can go check that out. Lovely. If I can I jump blast back this. in because you were talking about movies, and I was like, oh, I wanted to. And right. I was like, I want to ask you about the end of the movie because I saw it last night as well. And I was like, there's literally nothing I can actually ask you about the end of the movie that won't. That won't completely spoil it. it right. Else. Other than tell like, people that it's. It's kind of a suck ending. Like I like had I not known that it was going to be a suck ending, I would have been pissed. But knowing that it was going to be crap, I was like, OK, I, I see what you did there. All right. I didn't love the ending for sure, but I didn't hate it. And I've heard that response from like four different people were like, oh, the ending sucks as long as you know it. I'm like, 
I'm so curious to find out what you think sucked about the ending of it, but I also don't want to ruin it for people. So like at some point we're gonna have to have a conversation off screen. Just well, like... I just wanted to know more. Like uh, it okay. needed an epilogue or something, right? Uh, like okay. I just felt issues were unresolved for the most part. But but yeah, like for what it was, it was kind of funny, you know? So <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, I no, man, right. I thought the rest of that movie was fantastic. Like that opening line with Julia Roberts where she's staring out the window and talking, like that pulls you in and then just smacks you in the face and wakes you up and you're like, oh, this is what the movie's about. Okay. Like, oh wow. And and just seeing the interactions between those people dealing with trust issues and communication and all that sort of thing. Like you really didn't know where it was going to go next. So I was, I, I thought the movie itself was, was pretty good. Uh, and then I'm, I'm yeah. doing masters of evil APOC, right? Yep. All right. So yeah, this, also, hi, Manguli. I don't know if we've ever spoken before, but hello. How are you? I don't believe we have. I'm good. Dylan. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Uh, make sure you have APOC next to sticky. Uh, or an APOC next to sticky. Oh, okay. Um, and there's that. And then we're going to use the ultimate on a uh, hard light to put the disrupt on her. Oh, remember when I was saying, hey, uh, I don't want to attack her directly because it'll kill her. Like, I don't want to use the basic on her because it'll kill her. That was when I was going up against the Dormammu comp because she'll revive and be cleansed of all that stuff. It's uh -huh. not this comp or the other. So we can attack her directly if we want. If she dies, it's yeah. great. Now, if you see the Dormammu comp, you just superior six it and they remove the revives and this team gets absolutely yito deleted by that. Also, Archangel uh, said something in chat, which was kind of funny if you want to read that. Oh, Gnomes, thank you for gifting that uh, sub to Archangel. I appreciate that. That was nice. I'll see what I do. No, it's not a switch. It's never easy as you think. It's harder when you think easy and easy when you think hard. This is the way. Okay, I need to go. Also, way too much talk about the movie. Like, spoiler warning, LOL is being flirted with. I see Run 7 treats spoiler warnings like NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, touche. Oh, I had that one coming. Yeah, All right. Absolutely you did. So we're going to run in here. Should I special adjacent to hard light or should I go for a basic on hard light with Kang? Never basic. Never no basic. Light. Okay, so special adjacent to her to get all three of them. Mm -hmm. Later, Archangel. Thanks for stopping by, man. Even though it's going to hit scroll, he doesn't do anything weird? No. Okay. Because it's um, the chain gets broken by a counterattack and Apox got safeguard and everything. Okay. <clears throat> uh, right. Oh. That seems like a slightly different turn order than what I'm used to. Kind of. <clears throat> so now you can stun scroll without trauma now as well because he's already been stunned once, just so you know. So you're going to special on Black Cat. Uh, adjacent to hard light. In the store. A what? A, a toque. A toque? What's a toque? We we had this conversation already. You gotta rem you gotta a understand that the winter hat. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, I haven't even looked into it yet, but it is on my list. Although I don't think I wrote it down as a toque. I think I wrote down winter hat. Yeah, can you spell Tuke for him? Because I guarantee he'd get it wrong. T-U-K-E or T-O-O-K? T-O-Q-U-E. Oh, yeah. Never would have got that one. Never would have got that one. That was number eight on his... Wow, we're going to go real fast, and then it's going to be a... You're going to lap them. Pick the crap out of him here. That worked. And special? Yep. For even more speed. Even more speed. And let's go after, oh, I can't do anything but go after this one. Calls the assist. And Icarus with a basic. Very nice. Uh, and yeah, you kind of need the Omega Red if this uh, Pegasus is over 2 million because you just don't have enough damage. The Eternals just don't have enough damage to do it efficiently. Enough. Even with three diamonds on my Icarus? It, dude, I have a two diamond maxed out Icarus and it was still, I got a zero turn efficiency bonus because I, <clears throat> it was a 2.1 million Pegasus. Okay. Uh, Death Seed, we're gonna do the mirror and I'm supposed to do a special into Archangel. Is that how the mirror works? Just play it normally. Oh, just play it normally and cleanse? Okay. Yep. Yeah, cause he's gonna ult every turn, no matter what. Oh. Cause it's room, it's room three. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm reading Doc Dollar's name real slow because I'm trying not to get it wrong this time. 
I always, I always get that one wrong. Uh, let's put this on Beast, because it'll pull him over anyway. I want to see if I can't kill Dark... If I kill Dark Beast, I don't have to worry about that team kind of getting caught up and running away with anything. <clears throat> You're going to kill all of them pretty much. Uh, middle, 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 middle. Middle, so yeah. I get the damage on everybody, clear those evades, the counterattacks the too, counter because they're going to whiff. No, because he can't be counterattacked. Oh, man. Uh, Psylocke. Psylocke, for the, so she you doesn't cleanse her. everything. That's right. I screwed up and put that on Nemesis the other day, and the whole no. match fell apart. I still won, yeah. but I had one person standing. It was bloody to the end. I was like, oh, man, all because I forgot to ability block yeah. Psylocke. Now you get a kill, and rewind start going. I also hate how Archangel, if his ping misses, it doesn't rewind anybody. I think that's so stupid. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, if his ping gets dodged, nobody gets reround. So how often are you writing down questions for MSF -er? As they come up in my head, as yeah. people are bringing them up to me. But like, um, how, like, like, it's, like how many in a day or, or is it how many in a week? Like, um, I would say probably like three or four a day. Cause like, as I'm passively playing the game, I went, huh, I didn't know that was a thing. Write that down. Uh -huh. <laughs> or like, um, one of them was regarding synergies. Like, you know, when you have your team fully fleshed out in the preload screen, and you could do like the drag and drop and you see the little numbers mm -hmm. under them to see how many synergies they have on that team. There right. I forgot that existed until my manager Correct. was like, so he's got a lot of synergy. I see that number. And I'm like, what mm -hmm. number are you talking about? Like, I I forgot yeah. that was a thing because those synergies, they don't mean anything to us I I later in the game. So I have a question regarding synergies, and that's actually um, a pretty hard question um, that I have for that um juicy gave me a couple questions to screw with dorky because him and him and dorky are good friends so um but easy questions i'm gonna have to start looking because easy questions are are running out quickly a lot of people want to have the hardest questions in the yeah. in the game show obviously so the easy questions are running out but those will be those are pretty simple to find mm -hmm. would you ever branch out into like general marvel lore or are you keeping it very specific to this game I don't know enough about general Marvel lore to pull that off, uh, Dazzler. I don't know enough about general Marvel lore to pull that off, honestly. So I think I'm going to stick with just MSF. And I believe MSF is a large enough kind of... Um, well, adding canvas to use. Adding yeah, five yeah. new tunes every every patch, you know. You're yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm the, finding... I'm look finding how many col different to... colors we have over their heads now, you know? <laughs> like, there's... I'm finding now, I have to, like, specify for certain questions what patch I'm talking about. Like, it's after this team came out. As yeah. of this team, how many people do this? And then the multiple choice. Because if not, the answer changes completely. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, so it's, it, it's, it's fun because the game evolves. And then, you know, in six months i can ask the same questions again and the answers will probably be different because the totals of the amount of characters that do a certain thing are different all this stuff so mm -hmm. the the yeah. questions are going to evolve as the game evolves and the questions are going to get harder as game modes come out like for battle world stuff like that um which is really it is fun to me because it's it's causing a lot of differences and it's not just the same you know 15 yeah. questions over and over again and they're vastly vastly different when i'm asking questions so it's a lot of fun as somebody who's only been playing for a little over two years two and a half years or so uh mm -hmm. some of the questions are just brutal because they're just before my time right yep. like nobody mm -hmm. talks about some of those things from like year one year two and you're just like i have no idea like oh yeah <laughs> even I, like super basic stuff like who was the first legendary character i'm like uh i would have a guess but i have no uh -huh. idea absolutely like when uh the question who was uh who was like the first character that was or the first two characters that were going to be nerfed i had no clue i my first thought was icarus and cersei because we had a bunch of reddit posts and and rumblings of scopely that they were going to nerf them but i had no clue um and then somebody was like oh it's um it's gonna be uh quake and black widow and i'm like why they're terrible yeah. <laughs> and people were like oh those were the meta arena tunes in every mode they were disgusting i'm like mm, okay yeah I remember listening to your show and I was just like, really? Like, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. I'll go with it. Yep. It's one of those, if you heard it, you heard it. If you didn't, then you you weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Ryan. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. Oh, 
<laughs> no, I like how you're like, you're like Dazzler. I'm like, I was going to click on Dazzler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making I'm me look bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. I was going to do a Doom. Let's see if I got something already built. I was going to use a Doom comp. Here we go. You something like, like this. You do serious content where you have to try and talk at the same time. I figure that's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think? Should I go like this? I still have Infinity Watch left over. What's good for Infinity Watch? And I don't want to use any of those pieces for my fifth. You have Dormammu. I do have Dormammu. That's Dorm Undying. A... Just Dorm Undying it. Oh, for, for Infinity Watch? Oh, for Infinity Watch, yeah. Yeah, okay. Or, do, all right, you don't have Superior Six because they're on defense, right? I do not have Superior Six for this round, no. Yeah, you can Dorm Undying it. Okay, so then just throw in Kestrel then. Uh, take out, you can take out Omega Red because Kestrel's going to take the ride anyway. Okay. Um, well, he's G18, maybe. I don't know who actually would take the ride there. Yeah, put Nova. So Nova. Does it matter? Let's just throw in all of these, all three of these guys, right? Not really. Yeah, go for it. Any one of them going for this ride is going to be great. Uh, we'll refresh this team and just throw it in there. Wait, and have you used Tangled? No, I you have. still have Tangled. I have Tangled, Undying, and, and Dormammu. I thought that's what I was going to use on Infinity Watch was sure. Tangled, Undying. I've been using, when I see these, if I have the luxury to, I use the the Tangled Nova Emma comp on this, and mm -hmm. it just deletes this composition. Zoink. Uh, Kestrel takes the ride, because she's got offense up, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna put a Disrupt here. So hey, Run7, what did they do to the blog that's not in there now? They they took out the kits to the hive mind, as if we don't know what they were planning already. God. Like, it just seems kind of ridiculous to me. Because they're cha that just shows that they're changing them. Yeah. And that just proves that they're gonna change them to make them better. Because everybody was like, well, Venom's going to be riding the fucking pine. <laughs> special so. here. <clears throat> that entire uh, update the other day, that was a mistake, right? Like, they weren't supposed to release that randomly. They, they on were not. Afternoon. No, it wasn't right. supposed to happen. That's a part of the, the new system, the over-the-air stuff. And that was, like, in the hopper beforehand, and they didn't take it out. And so it, like, automatically got pushed, and it wasn't ready to... They were supposed to wait one. Yep. Okay. Can I ask you a question? I, I do. I don't want to put you on the spot live. So, like, if you're like, no, thank you, that's totally fine. I don't think there's anything I won't answer. Fair enough. Are there tiers of Envoy? There are now. It's not official, but there are now. Ever since okay. the summit, because those of us that went to the summit were given some information, and they segregated that information into different sectors of the Envoy channel. And since then, many of us have been pushing to just even it all out um but also it's a little bit and and i'm not i'm not upset about this this is just kind of how the world works but certain envoys have connections that other envoys don't and there's back channels and there's a little bit about who you know and what you know and sort of things and and that's 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 how life works right um but there are definitely sure. some envoys that have better information than other envoys um and it's just it's just how it is because I noticed the other day, like when they brought up those five uh, blacked out characters, um, you were straight up saying like, I can't guess because I know what the answers are. Right. And then somebody else made a video that was straight up them guessing the exact five characters. And it was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, hmm. they... Yeah, I'm not. I don't even want to touch that. I guess there okay. are some things I'm like not. You, you might not want to. I don't I like. I don't want to. I don't have but... a problem with it anymore. I'm over it. It doesn't affect my content because I'm always just pointing at the videos that are already out there and talking about things that have happened in the past 24 hours. So it really doesn't bother me. Um, but it is hard to see some of the other content creators struggle with the information and the flow of information because they're waiting for an embargo date, right? I mean, like we just had recently, Benny Westside put out all five members of the Hive Mind, and it, the blog post that came out said it, they weren't going to talk about Red Goblin, but the embargo specifically said we could talk about Red Goblin, but it didn't mention anything about Carnage or Venom. Uh, which those were in that blog post that accidentally came out. And so it's like, it's just, it's really tough for, for the envoys. And, and these guys, um, like I said, uh, Mr. Hargrave took time off of his real life job so that he could record a video and then was told that the footage he couldn't use. And all of them were pretty upset. And so, you know, it's, and, and this, this happens a lot. So it's, it's really tough. I'm, 
I'm kind of just letting it go. And, and since I kind of like backed out a bit and just kind of took my hands off and went, you know what? This isn't my fight. I don't need to struggle for these guys. It sucks for them, but I'm like pulling my hair out on their behalf when it doesn't affect my content so directly. And I'm starting to have a little bit more fun. If you saw yesterday's stream, I was kind of laughing at their expense. And I apologize to you envoys out there who 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 are, are struggling, but shit, it's it's so much funnier on my side of the fence. I got to tell you. <clears throat> okay, let's, I think I got a tangled something or other in here. Diamond on Weaver, fucking fat. <laughs> Nice. Um, this is not even the Tangled Undying team I want. I don't know why I have Scarlet Witch and Noir in here. That's oops. Interesting. I mean, I do that on. I do that for War. I do Scarlet Witch, Noir, uh, and then Full Undying. I don't know. My save squads are so weird, man. Okay, that looks uh, pretty good. Uh, we'll just go in and kind of. Hit buttons. Get effed foreigners. What are you talking about, Stoggy? If Doolin wins the giveaway, we need to send him a ball kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Uh, so, Monguli, how are you handling uh, people trolling you and chat making fun of you? Because for me, I find it hilarious when people make fun of me. There isn't much that anybody can say that upsets me. Um, you know, some days you're just like, I'm not in the mood to take shit from people, but most of the time it's not bad at all. What, how are, how are you handling trolls and, and, and so are you a thick skinned kind of guy? Uh, huh, depends. Um, over on YouTube, I honestly can't think of any, like I've been pretty lucky. I haven't really gotten too many trolls or people just straight up like this guy fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. um, I had a couple people like the, the video I posted like a month, month and a half ago. I straight up got the math wrong and I even put it in like the title is like save your cores. And then I talked about how you should spend your cores. And it's like, they called me out on that one rightfully so. So I don't take that as like trolling. I was just like, you fucked up dude. And like, yeah, no, you're right. I got that one wrong. Um, so I haven't had any like straight up latent trolling on this channel. On the movie channel, um, I did a watch along for the trailer for uh, whatever the new Zack Snyder thing is, Rebel Moon. Oh, yeah. Ironically, I was positive about it. Like I was like, this looks good. I'm excited for this. Oh, but don't be positive, positive in a movie enough. review. What are you thinking? <laughs> well, no, I wasn't positive enough. Like the the Scott oh, really? fans or, or whatever are like fucking cultists. <laughs> like, I wasn't, like, worshipping him and the ground he lives on. So people came after me for that video hard. Yeah, and, and when they like, find out you just called them the cultists, they're really going to redouble their efforts. <laughs> let, them, let them come. Like, that was really funny to me. To the point where they were saying, like, he doesn't make movies with bad CGI. You clearly went and, like, changed the CGI to make this look bad. I'm like, you think I've got that kind of time? Are you kidding me right now? Like, no, nah, no chance, bud. I take uh, And as far as, like... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead, bud. Keep going. You're good. Uh, as far as Twitch goes, um, I think most people are there for a good time more so than like strategy. So like if I fail hard, people just kind of go like, yeah, okay. Like yeah. I haven't had anybody <clears throat> like straight up call me out like what the fuck is going on here? And honestly, like as much as we give you shit for like hitting the auto button, that's kind of a badge of honor in a weird way. Like I kind of want to get my audience to the point where they're like, oh, here he goes again. Like that's a that's a Danism or whatever. Like, right. that just means that they know you, right? Like, that's a right. good thing. Yeah, yeah. And you, you know what's weird? When I started out, I was doing war strategy guides on, on war defense. It was defense up. It was just for war. Crucible didn't exist. And the kits were simplistic enough. And I played the game at such an intense level that I, I did have things memorized. And I was paying attention. And I had a lot of free time because of my job. Uh, I was always out in a truck. And so... I was listening to all the content creators teach me how to play the game. And then when I was waiting for a forklift to load my truck, I was playing the game and I was pretty darn good at it. Like I said, with those simplistic kits, but then the tide started to turn and I know exactly the character release that did it. It was Mr. Sinister. That novel of a character, which is now the standard, right? That's like not even that big of a, of a character kit anymore. 
But that character kit turned the tide, and I was like, man, there is a lot for me to remember. I know nothing about Mr. Sinister's kit, and things started to go downhill after that. And then we introduced Crucible into the mix, and so you've got all these different game modes. Everything starts becoming game mode specific with in raids only, in Crucible only and it became too much. And that's why now I have other content creators come in and do all the heavy lifting for me. Um, and I just like to come and have a good time. It's I, to, you gotta learn the kit and then you gotta learn what the kit does in their specific game mode too. It's literally yes. two different kits for every single fucking, every single character that comes out now. Like you have to learn two kits cause it's a Cosmic Crucible kit and then it's a not Cosmic Crucible kit. And it's the same way with raids, war, everything <clears throat> like that. So it's rough. Yeah. yeah. Hey, the I replay really wish, button. I forgot yeah, we had this. It's great. I really wish that it would like gray out the parts of the kit that don't matter in what you're playing. So if you're in war and you're like, okay, what does this attack do? It just like, here's the stuff that actually matters. Ooh, that's right a now. good idea, man. That would, that would be a like, great uh, uh, l uh, improvement. That's a great quality of life improvement. Like, especially if you're like in in that specific mode. I don't know how that would work though. So this well, Sinister I, I Six team saved my ass. Did you see they one shot room one? Yeah. But they couldn't beat my Sinister Six in two. You may want to keep Sin Six in two while you don't have scroll. Well, I got to use them for the points. Scopely says that I have to do that or they're going to charge That's me true. more money. That's, I guess that is true. It's, it's either that or I got to buy some more offers to stay relevant and competitive. The thing <clears> that he brought in was interesting. Yeah, this looks like a heap of junk and they were trying to burn through cooldowns. Cause watch, they come back with a sinister six of their own. Yeah, but this is some this is some expensive tunes to use. <laughs> they stack. can't even write the kits correctly. You want them to make them dynamic. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a good point, Giga. Oh man. The boy can dream. Yeah. It was funny when you were talking about trolling. I look at trolling, especially in YouTube. I'm like, dude, fucking troll all you want. Make my algorithm better. Put oh, yeah. comments of how I'm a dipshit. Oh, I for sure. Fuck. I, I post a it. video. I go I through mean, the comments in the first like three hours after the video mm. posts because those are the people who are following me with notifications yeah. and they want to watch that recap video or whatever. And so I'll go through and read those comments. There are a lot of people with criticism, but it's usually respectful and that's fine. Some people make jokes at my expense and that's fine. And, and so I enjoy that. But then after that, I kind of like bow out. Every once in a while, you come across somebody in the comment section that just hates you for being you or whatever. They just have issues with you. And you just, whatever. It's more clicks on your page, so whatever. Yep. <clears throat> you yep. hate me for being me. Thanks for leaving a comment. And thanks for watching the video, bud. I appreciate it. And and sometimes I, I, I sometimes get in my own head. Like I like to do on off periods. Like right now I'm in an off period where I'm not looking at metrics. I'm not really intense in the in the comment section. I'm not working hard to improve anything. I'm just here to have a little fun. And then I'll go on an on period where I do focus on metrics and revenue and, and a lot of stuff and try and actually expand my content and, and make it better and I dig into that. But I don't wanna get overwhelmed about it. I don't want that to change the content I make. I don't wanna be making content for clicks. I wanna be me. And, but at the same time, they do, you know, Mobile Gamer told me, he's like, if you want to get good, you're going to have to make the content you don't want to make. Like, that's just how yeah. it works. And so I'm that's trying to find what struggles. I can live with, yep. you know? I'm trying to find what I can live with. I, I've, it, it may be a small thing and it may be nothing. I've noticed mobile has turned from, I have to make to a video now instead he used to say i get to make a war video or i get to make this mm -hmm. video because i feel like the only video he really has a lot of fun in is cosmic crucible because that is the only time you see that man legitimately fucking nervous right yeah and you can and when he's starting like in nerve-wracking yeah he is tuned in and it is nerve-wracking it feels like i know he likes offer review because that's always been his thing mm -hmm. but it's like the war videos i feel are kind of forced because it's like he comes in with an intro it's time for everybody's second third <laughs> fourth favorite game yeah. mode and i'm yeah. like oh man it's like fourth favorite game mode but like it's mobile gamers so we still watch so that's right. why he makes them because it's his livelihood right right because um, it's so still I bringing in somewhere between two and ten thousand views and Absolutely. that's money for him, so he's gonna keep making it. And he's looking at the numbers all the time. Mobile Gamer is very, very fascinated yes. with 
uh, sort of like me, he's very fascinated with the craft of making content, of streaming, the numbers, the metrics, all the stuff that's happening behind the scenes. You know, he's really into that stuff. And I'll, I'll tell you guys, uh, I'll give you guys, I am going to be interviewing Mobile Gamer and for one of the seven streams of Christmas. So he did agree to oh, okay. an interview. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's always been one of the things I wanted to do. And oh, so yeah. I'm going to save a lot of it so he can talk to you guys about it. But that's what I wanted to get in with his interview is his love for the craft. And uh, so I think that's going to be a you, lot of fun. It, it's, it's funny you say that you turned on my love for the craft, because honestly, that was the thing I hated most about making content in the beginning was like the making the thumbnails, the little things that just took time. Like when I first started doing this, I wanted to hit record, hit unrecord and put the video on YouTube. No fucking effort whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You like the, the copious amount of conversations that we've had for uh, honestly hours at times have have turned me on to like actually enjoying making thumbnails and enjoying um making better like artistic content where it's not just you're staring at the game that we all fucking stare at all day mm -hmm. it's like different things it's different graphics it's making new things for people to look at that again is not just the roster screen that we're all staring at um and it's i i've, I've noticed i've enjoyed it once i like understood it and got good at it i enjoy it a lot now for sure I think a lot of it has to do with, because uh, I've talked to a lot of people about their thumbnails, and they they all say the same, same thing. I hate making thumbnails. It's not mm -hmm. any fun. It's hard. Like, I don't understand how to do it. And I've showed a lot of people a few simple tricks to make their thumbnails, and it elevates that thumbnail to a whole nother level, and suddenly they're like, oh, I see. And, and once you know a few of the tricks, you can kind of like, elaborate into other things and, and 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 do stuff and it gives it empowers them to be able to to create what they envision to a higher degree and i i've kind of hit a, a limit with my thumbnails and uh i've started messing around with ai stuff and and putting those in and that's just like i don't know that's like a a, a more expensive garland on your tree. I'm not decorating the tree any different. I'm just using a better quality picture in there. So I would like to learn some more tricks and I need to get back to studying that part. Um, but but yeah, when you can enable somebody to do a little bit more and, and teach them a little bit more so that they can express themselves, I think people start enjoying the craft rather than just recording a video and putting it straight to YouTube. I, Don't forget my kids. That's right, gnomes. Uh, hold on. I wanted to go check the blog post real fast and see uh, how different it is. Let's go here to Marvel Strike Force and check that out. <clears throat> I just don't have time for the time sink of watching a 10 minute video on how to put a fucking border around my text when somebody can tell me how to do it in 22 seconds. Right. That's the problem because they're trying to hit the YouTube metric of 10 minutes to make the ad revenue. And I'm like, I get it. But like, dude, I just want to know how to put a border on my text and how to morph it. Just stop. Yep. Stop talking so much, please. Like, I don't have well, this kind of time. <laughs> and, and talking about like making the videos you don't want to make. That's one of the biggest issues I have is. I want to make a video about the, the events or whatever, but like I can say everything I need to say about the event in like four minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like maybe six if I'm really rambling on, but it's not hard. Like it's like do this amount of stuff, spend this amount of energy, whatever you need to do. And these are the rewards you're going to get. But like my metrics suck. Like I get decent amount of views, but like my watch time is so low because all of my videos mm -hmm. are like seven minutes. Right. So you like, got to get over really that eight minute mark. Make, like, 20 minute videos but it's like but then i'm just wasting people's time you don't have like, to uh, a lot of people what they do is if they have a six minute video they add in a, a crucible fight or a war match or some some extra clips or something at the end to push it over that eight minute mark and then you can get your advertisements in the middle so like if you're doing the the superior six math right for the cosmic crucible if you're if your video is at like six minutes just throw in a fight of showing how good superior six is at the end and being like, hey, you guys get to use this team. Here's a couple counters that they can beat when you're using them in Cosmic Crucible and then show it and then just let it okay. run. Just to I didn't uh, realize eight minutes time. was the goal. Eight yeah, the at goal. eight minutes, I it allows remember. for a mid-roll ad. And I was very, very against putting advertisements in the middle of my content. And that's why I'm, I'm happy doing the recap as too short for mid-roll ads because then I can really just, that's, that's my bread and butter right there and I can stay true to myself by not having mid-roll ads in that and I have a good excuse for it. But in all my other stuff, I added mid-roll ads and it has definitely improved my metrics. And that's, 
all, I can only live with that because somebody explained to me that it's like people who really hate those ads have either installed an ad blocker or they're paying for YouTube premium and they don't watch those ads anyways. And everybody else is okay with those ads because they're living with it. So put the ads in and do yourself the favor. And then the YouTube algorithm pushes your videos harder because they're making more money off of your video too. They don't make money off your videos that don't have the mid-roll ads or not as much anyway. You're on a black well, screen. I don't even have I'm on a black screen. Whoops, sorry. Sorry. I didn't know if that was by design or not. Nope, that was not by design. Well, I don't even have the ads yet, but to get to the point where you can get the ads, you need to have X amount of subscribers, but also X amount of watch time. And that's where I'm struggling is the watch time. Right. Okay, so Cyclops' stats are the exact same as from the previous post. They did cut out the entire hive mind out of it. Um, I don't know about his kit. I'm not going to read through everything. Oh, let's just see if they, they said they fixed his special. Someone his special. He said has they have the defense up and deflect to, to the three yeah. highest. OK, instead of taunt to the two highest. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, let's go see Gambit stats. Did they change them at all? Uh, I don't think so. Gambit that stats. 30, 10, 5, 10 and 10. Yeah, that's the same. And then the, um, all that stuff. I'm not going to read through. I'll let somebody else do it. So they basically cut out all of the hive mind stuff. So all they said was in the beginning, hive mind, hey, Gwenum <clears throat> and um, uh, Void Knight are coming and, and the two reworks are Venom and Carnage. And then just like you said that they were going to cut out the red goblin stuff, that nothing was going to be in it. That's exactly what was said at the top in like a paragraph mm -hmm. of the blog here. Okay. So that this was the original blog that was supposed to post for sure. <laughs> So like right on the top, it's all uh, right. Go down below Extreme X Men, the Hive, hive mind. mind. They'll team up with Venom Carnage along with a powerful fifth character who will be coming in the near yeah. future. But we've already been given the right to talk about that with the release of the embargo. So if you if you didn't know, it's Red Goblin is the fifth member of the Hive Mind team. So um, yeah. That's why he's wearing a red shirt. He was alluding to it all stream. Okay, so I have a problem, and I think ZKG told me how to fix it. He said giveaways on Twitch for increased engagement. I believe Moobot does it, but it didn't seem easy, hence why I found the wheel to do it. You can use giveaways to interact with your Twitch community, increase their engagement, and encourage. I don't think that sounds like it's really complicated. All right, uh, I'm gonna write down a number between uh, one and 50, and whoever in chat writes it on the screen first wins, and you only get to put out four guesses. So you don't just go one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I'd be cheating and whoever gets it gets it and then uh, next time I'll have an actual system in place so that you guys can do it um, All right, can anybody win <laughs> <clears throat> Nope, I don't see the number yet. I don't see the number yet You guys can keep guessing and whoever hey, wins is gonna win a mug and a hat. write it on camera because then you're showing like the hand movement of what you wrote oh i don't think they i don't think they figured it out i don't you're know giving his chat way too much credit this is true i yeah. guess i guess this is true <laughs> still haven't seen the number i run if you're yeah, interested in winning a, a hat or a mug just write a number it's between one and 100 rello these are clearly fucking neanderthals it's obviously 69 rello's no gonna go one at a time yet <laughs> there's oh, the 69 okay, got it there it is i gonna say really all right, you can guess as many times as you want. Rello's going all through it, and I'm going to give you a hint, Rello. You're going to be a while. <laughs> Giga's way closer than you are. <laughs> oh, Gnomes is getting awful close. Gnomes is really getting warm. Or he could be trolling you, and you're completely fucking wrong. This, too. <laughs> this is way better than having a bot do it. Plus, this is really going to boost my metrics for how many chatters. Yeah, chat. <laughs> right. Oh, Elder screen. almost got it. We're so close <laughs> with that one. <laughs> you're going to look at the stream review on your fucking email, and the metrics are just going to skyrocket in the last two minutes of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know. <laughs> oh, it's kind of brilliant. People staying in the 50s. Oh, there we go. Rello got it with 52. I don't know if you can see wow. that. That's right. Rello got it with 52. He's the first one to get it. Rello, just uh, DM me on Discord and uh, you can go through my merch, pick out a hat and a mug, and I will, and then uh, give me your address and I will purchase it for you and send it, have uh, stream elements send it directly to you. Congratulations on that. Uh, on not tomorrow because tomorrow i'm not streaming but on thursday guys 
I will have a better system in place than this. I don't know if you guys remember, but on the first seven streams of Christmas, I literally had to close my eyes and point at a name on chat on the screen. It was that bad. So this That's was a little bit better than that. Um, Zero, there. Uh, I think it's like uh, exclamation point merch. I think. Uh, I think that's how you do it, and you can go there if you want to buy a mug if you like. And I'm so lie, this is a great system. I think you should just keep doing this. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was it. Like maybe have like your favorite X Men character, your favorite movie. Like just change the the yeah. Thing that's not remember. that's not like, bad. That's not a bad idea like, actually. That's a great idea actually. Yeah, because then the people who are actually here and active are doing it instead of doing that like. Over the course of the stream, you can enroll in it and get a ticket, but you have to be here at the end. And then there's that waiting period of, Rello, are you in chat? Rello, are you here? People, chat, you know. And people who and, and people who know you too might get the answer faster if it's like, who's my favorite character in MSF? Ooh. And people would know that there you go. Engage would have a better chance instead of just giving it to some random who's in chat. There you go. Yeah. Like no offense to the random, welcome in, but like. It's it's cool when the person that you like see all the time like gnomes or somebody that you know is like oh yeah he knew this information this random fact yeah. about me that's cool yeah. and uh, thing, you know? Thursday I will I will go by the comic book store and I'll have some comics that are relevant to stuff that's going on in Marvel Strike Force right now I know a lot of people like those collector edition comic books and the and the big novel ones and stuff like that so I'll get a variety of that like I did uh, the last couple of years. And I'll, maybe I'll still do some some merch stuff, too, because that saves me on the shipping and handling. But, uh, yeah, I'll be here Thursday, guys. Really appreciate that. I don't even remember who is going to be my special guest on Thursday, but I've got somebody lined up. Um, I'm sure they feel very special right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I wrote it down. Was that Thursday? Oh, hey, that's 3088 Gaming. I did write it down. 3088 Gaming will be my guest on Thursday. So come get to know him and his lovely accent. That's going to be amazing. So, all right, uh, who's streaming? I got to get out of here and go pick up my kids. I love that uh, chat reminds me to pick up my kids now. I don't even have to set dude. my alarm. It used to just be me. I used to have to be like, hey, you got 10 minutes, bud. Heads it's up. It's both <laughs> amazing and creepy, right? That yeah. they know me so well. They're, they're just it like, was, hey, the boys need to be picked up in five minutes. It was funny because like I almost I was about to type it and then I went, this sounds kind of fucking creepy. I'm right? telling a man to pick up his kids over the internet. This sounds like <laughs> And then I went, that's ah, run. Who gives a shit? Enter. And then you went, oh, shit, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. Yep, no problem, bud. <laughs> the community gets to know you for who you are, I guess. All right, I had a wonderful time. Thank you guys for joining me on my first of seven streams of Christmas. I'll try and get a little bit better job next time. Uh, it's always a work in progress. And thank you, Monguli, for being my, my guest speaker today. And Doolin for helping me out in Crucible. Really appreciate that. Everybody have a good time. Remember, the Hive Mind kits are already out there if you know where to click and look. There are lots of videos to show you those, uh, but they are not permanent. There are a lot to change. And if you guys tell Scopely what you want to see in those kits, I promise you, you can sway them to make those changes before that goes live. All right, guys, much love to everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.